This week we will probably all overindulge a little bit, but if you do that too often, it can cause big problems. And the same is true for your pets. Today, Tim and Bentley talk about a growing issue, pet obesity. Uh, we love our pets and we show our pets love through food. And most of the time we have no idea how many extra calories are in those treats. You may think, okay, I'll just check the nutrition label. But Chesapeake veterinary doctor Danette Cook says, Take the, the, the label and how much we should feed it and don't even look at it. Why? Well, it is a misrepresentation in part because of the different energy levels, dog breeds, health concerns, and body size. The number one cause of obesity, too many calories, not enough exercise, just yep. like in humans. Right. How do you know when your dog is too fluffy to the point that they're actually obese? There's a simple test you or your veterinarian can conduct. We wanna see a nice hourglass figure right here. Bentley's kind of full with his hair, you got a chow chow, same thing. You're gonna have to do it by feel. I wanna feel the last rib poke out right here. I come feel him on Bentley. You good? Yep. Good. You wanna feel the rib cage uh, go back and forth. You should feel that like a washboard. Uh -huh. And then we have that indention right here. The other little trick I use is the head size should equal the butt size. If you start having a big butt and a pin head, then you know your dog is too heavy. So, how about some tricks for weight loss? My tricks for weight loss are buy smaller food bowls. Only have one family member feed the dog because too many cooks spoil the broth. Measure the food in a measuring cup like you're baking a cake so you know exactly what it is, level it off. Tim Pandages, 13 News Now.